Alan Pan. I'm the Electronics and Robotics Fellow at the Los Angeles Makerspace. I have a three-part series of workshops for robotics, and the beginning one is a very simple circuit that's just a battery, a switch, and a motor. And the motor vibrates, so when you put it on, say, a cup and give it a little marker feet, then it'll actually scoot around the floor and draw a path behind it. The second workshop that I have introduces the idea of autonomous robots. These beetle bots actually have two little photo cells, two light sensitive cells or components, and using those it's able to tell roughly what direction it should go in to chase a light around. We had two motors, two transistors, two photo cells, and a breadboard, and we just kind of walked through the process of using a breadboard and how to put this circuit together, and the whole time going along with describing what parts of a robot make it distinct from just any other electronics. We guide them through the process of not just building, but also of knowing uh, the concepts that uh, lend themselves to this project. The same concepts, the idea that a robot needs some kind of controller to actually be in charge of everything. It needs actuators or motors or legs or some way of moving around. It needs sensors, whether that be cameras or microphones or something in a spectrum that humans don't have access to. It has to have a power source like a battery or solar panels. Those sorts of four big ideas that we go over in this workshop apply to any robot and that includes any of the rovers that we have on Mars. And then the last workshop brings in the idea of of robots that are more like unmanned vehicles like UAVs, things that are tethered like bomb disposal robots, and we have them actually fight robots. We call them battling balloon bots, where each robot gets a balloon and you try and pop your opponent's balloon while not getting your own balloon popped. So it's kind of like a really quick crash course to high level concepts of robotics and a little bit of an introduction into some construction processes and electronics. It's just nice to be able to like really quickly introduce kids to circuits and then have them breadboarding and then have them building something of their own original design in the last workshop. I kind of got started in uh, electronics as a really young kid. I don't remember how young exactly, I just know that at some point, maybe a little past kindergarten or so, I figured out how to use a screwdriver. That meant the death of pretty much all of my toys. From then on, if I had like a remote control car or like a train set, it was just guaranteed not to work anymore because I would take them apart and ultimately not be able to put them back together. But I guess from a young age, I had that kind of curiosity and you see that a lot in kids. You see a lot of kids who kind of have um, sort of a drive to figure out what's inside of things. When I was at the Malabar Branch Library, it was the first time I was running these robotics workshops. Right by the front door was a big display shelf. It had our flyers like robotics program, these dates, these times, sign up. And it had all of the books from the library about robotics. At the end, almost all of those robot books had been checked out. It's a clear indication that having these sorts of programs at the libraries is able to get kids who may not have been motivated to even look at a book about robots to check out these things from the libraries to kind of expand their world that way. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was uh, something just really wonderful to take away from that experience.